morning brothers and sisters how y'all doing so I was reading scripture this morning well a particular scripture that came to my spirit and that was and I'm going to paraphrase but you think that I'm here to bring a spirit of peace or I'm here to bring peace but I'm but rather I'm here to bring division and I butchered that I know I did but you know the scripture and that that's from Jesus you guys you all think I've come here to bring peace but rather I've come here to bring division now that's a big statement you guys it really truly is and what does that mean to your spirit? Now, I could see how um, somebody that's not walking straight or, or, or somebody that's not familiar would think that's a contradicting statement. Well, that's your the one you worship. That's that's contradicting. That sounds pretty pretty aggressive and mean. But to me and, and my spirit, brothers and sisters... Bear with me here, I'm just backing out of my driveway. Hi, buddy. Little boy lives across the street, super cute. I get distracted easily, hey? <laughs> if you know me by now, you know that. It's, uh, it's a gift, we'll get into that in a second. But for me, brothers and sisters, that, that means that the truth hurts, you guys. And I was watching a dear brother this morning as I was getting ready for work. Uh, my brother Jeremiah, I love you, brother, very much. You're amazing. Um, he lives in the U.S., as many of you do, and uh, we message each other. And we kind of our channels kind of started similar at the same time, and uh, yeah, I know you're you're you've been a big help to me, brother. I love you very much. But I was listening to you speak this morning, brother, and it was uh, it was exactly that message right there. The truth hurts you guys because it's the truth because that means you're walking the other way and if you're walking the other way and you hear the truth you're going to want to deny it that's where the devil's going to come in swoop in and tell you don't listen to that you're fine this is why scripture says to test all spirits brothers and sisters that's why it says that even our enemy will show up as an angel of light so he's going to try to do to the best of his ability to imitate the voice of the almighty voice of Jesus and so he's going to try to come in subtle like a snake like he did with Eve we have all these countless examples of him deceiving and I heard a brother say he can't defeat you he cannot defeat us because of who lives inside of us brothers and sisters but he can deceive you that's his responsibility that's his job he is the deceiver the liar so around every corner, he's going to be there to try to knock you off your path. And the closest, the closer you are, the, the, the deeper relationship you have with Jesus Christ, the more effort he's going to put in to try to knock you off that path. And so a lot of times I, I will bite my tongue because... Yeah, I'll use that phone. I'll bite my tongue or hold off what I'm going to say because I'm, I'm worried... I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But that right there is in contradiction to exactly, you all think I've come here to bring peace, but rather I've come to bring division. And, and, and what that means is I'm not, I don't, not divisively trying to divide you. I'm going to tell you some things that maybe aren't going to sit well from time to time. And it's not because I want to hurt your feelings. And, and if people think I'm trying to hurt someone's feelings purposely and I'm not exactly sure why they're watching them I'm, 
made the comment yesterday about we're starting to see door knockers, canvassers. And Machine Monkey, I love you, brother. He made a good comment to me, and then he he, uh, he did a video, a quick one, quick and right to the point, as he always is, about you know paying attention to our surroundings and understanding that this is the next step. We're moving forward in, into the next phase of their plan. Always keeping Jesus Christ at the forefront of our mind, our foreheads, brothers and sisters. Oh, always, always. That being said, if anyone comes to our door and they're looking for information, would it be Christian of us? And that word is used too much, too loosely. Would we be followers of the Most High if they came to our door and uh, we were rude or arrogant, aggressive, uh, gave them false information? That's what our enemy wants, brothers and sisters. If not anything... If not anything of sending these people to get some information, what not better than to get the the people that he hates the most to sin while it's happening? It's a two birds with one stone. It wouldn't matter if Gilly Bates showed up with a pocket full of jabias and said, I'm going to do it myself you would still have to be an ambassador representative of Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, no matter what, no matter what. When your head is laying down on the old guillotine, you're looking up and the gentleman's about to pull the old drawstring or hop, whatever the setup's going to be, you still have to be preaching Jesus Christ and loving that person right to the bitter end. So I just wanted to... uh, make mention that the truth is not easy to hear sometimes you guys and if if there is a part of you that that feels angry or has aggression towards any of these other brothers and sisters that are coming against us then we need to, to analyze ourselves spiritually this has come from a brother that knows I battle the spirit of anger all day long it tries to come against me all day long and it is a battle, you guys. It's exactly what it is from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed and sometimes even while I'm dreaming. I used to have dreams where I would fight all the time, constantly. And, it, and the, the interesting part is so does my dad. And we both have the same reaction to it. And that's to actually physically fight in our dreams, which has the potential of causing harms, harm to our loved ones that we're, we're sleeping with. And so he's going to try to get at you any way that he can, whether it be coherent or non-coherent, whatever the situation is. So we need to be in prayer at all times, asking for protection. Because every second that proceeds forward is going to get more intense. I just saw this uh, interesting news article and uh, it was actually through Mar Fugel News. And he was talking about how NASA, and we all know, again, this isn't me debating on what's what or whatever. You should all know my stance at this point, but I'm just, again, we have an idea, a sense of the season that we're in by the things that are presented to us. And they're trying to say that uh, our moon has a wobble to it or is going to have a wobble to it and is going to cause um, friction with the riptides to to cause massive flooding. Of course the devil's going to say that, you guys. All of these things that are happening, including my country of Canada, experiencing record-breaking... Like, I'm talking... There's places in British Columbia that have have, have been hotter than Las Vegas has ever been, Saudi Arabia. Like, there's some wild records that have been broken by this heat wave and, and I've seen our sister Karen Supernatural Life had a, a like kind of a, a hailstorm sneak up on her so the weather is definitely it's a sign 
we're in judge. God's judgment right now, brothers and sisters. He, he, he is, he, he, it's the equivalent of him grabbing people and shaking them and going, hello, I'm right here. I don't know how many things I have to do and show you to show you that I'm here, but I'm right here. And I feel like he's given a couple last shakes just to see who's awake and who's not. And I, we can feel it, that, that, Praise God that the scripture of birth pains, it's all like birth pains. It couldn't have been in any perfect, more perfect analogy than that. Couldn't have been. Because I can feel it. I can feel it in all areas. I was having a good conversation with my mother-in-law last night. She came out to the garden to grab some, uh, some lettuce. And we were sitting in the car and talking. My wife and daughter are actually camping with uh, her sisters this week. And so I'm, I'm home. And so I'm, I'm talking to my mother-in-law and we were in total agreement that her and, and she's, you know, she's an older lady, she's 70 years old and her friends can feel it, we can feel it. And so is there even the slightest possibility that God is wrong to put it on all of our spirits at the same time that, that we are the final generation. I'm here to tell you today that is impossible. And for anybody that might be new to the channel or new to the walk, this should be an alarm bell for you. Not to cause fear, but one more opportunity for you to want to search out Jesus Christ. You can go. And the devil makes it seem like it's so such a large task on how to find him. Oh, you got to you got to do this. And, and if you look at any uh, movies and and all these countless examples of the various different denominations, it's confusing to somebody that's that's new to the walk. It's confusing on how do I do it? Do I have to do this? Do I have to go get communion? Do I have to bow down to this? Do I? Do? No, <laughs> none of that. You just have to call out to him. Talk to him like a friend, just like this, right now. Just And, and when I hear all the structure of, yeah, no, that we got these metals that we blessed, and then there's these healing salts, and then, you know, we've got holy water, and then we've got to place these four metals at the... That's, to me, and, and again, this is where I need to be way more bolder in my faith and just say that is absolutely incorrect. Because what you're saying right now is that in order for the magic spell of Jesus to work, you have to have your metals, your salt, your holy water. Like, what are you going to fight vampires? Like, that's, that's literally what that sounds like, is that you are you have to have all these physical things. Uh, like, the, the, and that's what it is. It's the devil's mocking you by telling you, ha, look it, I'm making you think that you're living in the spiritual, but you're actually living in the physical because you believe the lie that you have to have all these physical things in order to do the things that I want you to do, which is absolutely incorrect. All you need is Jesus Christ in your life and speak to him like he's right there in you, beside you, and he's your best friend. There's no other secret to it. So any new brother or sister that's watching this wondering, how do I do it? That just take a step out in your faith and call on him and say, hey, are you there? <laughs> oh God. Mic drop. Phone drop. Yeah, it's, um, it's amazing how the enemy has spread these various different seeds and, and it always made sense to my spirit that that's how he would operate you've got the one way the one true path the straight and yet he has got a thousand other different ways to get there different denominations different ways of doing things all for what all for confusing a, a, a new believer, and all to confuse someone that wants, that's curious, but doesn't know even know where to start. And then, how do they even have a conversation with somebody that even has an idea of 
who's right? Is it Buddha? Is it this? Is it, is it Mormons? Is it the Jews? Is it the Catholics? Is it the Baptists? Uh, Lutheran? Uh, what else do we got? There's just this laundry list gamut of different ways to get there. Meanwhile, there's only one way. And then you got the enemy. Ah, oh, well, you, really? There's only one way? So that means all these other people have got it wrong? Well, that sounds pretty cruel to me. Do, do you see how the enemy operates? Every angle, every opportunity is, is pitting something, a conversation against you. Bup, 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 bup. It's like he's playing chess with himself. It's not hard. Just just get that out of your spirit right away. It's not hard. It's as simple as saying, Jesus, are you there? I'd like to have a conversation with you. I'd like to speak to you, please. And until you understand what that voice sounds like, and it'll sound like home, it's always been there. They've just told you it's always something else. It takes practice and patience. And then you'll see things happening spiritually, physically, undeniable things, things that the world has put labels on, like coincidence, and oh, that's deja vu, or that's, that, it, that was weird, how many times have you heard that, oh, I, I, I've heard mind-boggling stories from a brother of something happening, but yet they don't believe, and I'm just sitting there going, like, what? And this is where we have to be patient and loving, nurturing, water, water that seed every single day. Jesus plants the seed, brothers and sisters, and we just we just we go to him to get to get the water, and then we water it gently every single day so that it gets the right amount of sunshine, right amount of water, and then eventually that plant will grow up into a big, beautiful, strong tree that produces fruit and continues to feed others. Pray this reaches one. One of you. I love you all so very much. I appreciate every second you spend with me. Spend more time with Jesus Christ. We need to get off these machines. It's coming to a point where I'm trying to slow down my YouTube intake because it's start. I, I, it's starting to become an idol. And we don't. We, we don't. It's a sin, brothers and sisters. So I love you dearly. I pray you're all having an amazing day, and uh, I'm at work, so Father willing, we'll do another one soon. God bless. Take care.